Hey you guys, I am here and I am going to do a review on some brushes for you. I am going to do Sigma's E25 blending brushes, which are believed to be somewhat of a dupe for the MAC 217. So I am going to give you guys a quick compare and contrast and just really give you guys an honest review about what I think about these brushes. So once again with the MAC brush, this is a 217, it is a pretty all over brush I'd say. It's really good for if you're looking to really have a brush that is good for all over. It's a nice dome shape. The bristles are really soft but they're firm. You can notice the shape in everything you guys. It's really consistent unlike the Sigma brushes and I'll show you why and what I mean by that. Just notice like how tightly, you know, how, how dense I guess you could say the brush is. And now I'm going to show you guys the Sigmas. Okay, so one of these, keep in mind you guys, I did use. But look at how differently they are. Like look at the shapes. These are not the same brushes. I know it's really slight and I know that it's supposed to really mimic the MAC brush. But do you notice like how domed and perfectly oval the MAC brush is? Especially with the textures, you can really tell the difference. These brushes seem like they would hold up really well, but they actually start to split, splay. You would think that these brushes are, you know, just as good as the MAC brushes because everyone raves about Sigma. But, honest review, you guys, I think that they get the job done, but they are not the same brush, you guys. They do not perform the same. And just overall, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Sigma once I've tried the MAC. I found out how inconsistent the Sigma brushes are and that can really be an issue for me. So, what I will tell you guys is that if you guys are on like a tight budget and you guys just have to get something, I'd say start with the Sigma. It's not going to hurt you guys to do so. Um, but if you really, you know, can spare the money and you want a good all over brush that's really going to be consistent and you know that your quality is going to be the same as the next person, definitely go for the MAC brush, you guys. And once again, I'm going to show you all these up close just so you can see. It's slight, but they're different enough to know. and that's another one. You can see the MAC brush is a little bit more tightly knit, which means when you get into the crease, it really does make a difference. Alright you guys, well thanks for watching my review and I hope I was some help to you guys.